Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you to my subscribers. Um, my pa pa last painting is still drying in the middle, so I can't really show you that one. And I believe I've shown you everything up until this point. If I haven't and, and you've missed um, one of the paintings, let me know what it is and I'll show it to you next time. Um, tonight I'm going to be working on a... What is this little baby? A 10 by 20 canvas. And I'm going to run it horizontally, so it's going to be a tall, skinny canvas. But I'm using a white background. And then I'm also going to be using, as my highlight colors, um, gold, silver, copper, pewter. Um, and then um, I'm going to accent with the leftovers from our blue painting that have the um, medium in them, the glass medium. So it's going to be the Prussian and the ultramarine. I decided to use these two as my accents with the gold, silver, copper, and pewter. Um, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to put the silver in because I know that silver will fade the two blues out. So I may leave the silver out and just use the um, uh, copper, pewter, and gold. And I picked out the Splendid Gold, but I'm going to switch it over to the 24 Karat Gold um, because I just like the shine that that gives a little bit better on this particular pour that I'm going to do. I think it'll look better with that. So I'm going to uh, move the camera down and then we'll get started for tonight. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is our skinny little um, 10 by 20 canvas. And again, um, I'm going to run it or, um, vertical, vertically. Here's our white. And my white is, again, my Blick acrylic mixed with Floetrol and water. Um, there is, on my very first video, I believe, um, I, I think it was my very first video, I did a um, how I mix my paints. And then again, I did a refresher on it, but I, I didn't look to see what video that was. But you can look through my, my video library. It's in there. Um, the um, colors that are going to go on top of that is, I'm going to use my Liquitex Basics Copper. I still haven't found the Deco Art Copper. So we'll see if Liquitex is going to play nice with Extreme Sheen. But here's the Deco Art Extreme Sheen Pewter, my Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallic 24 Karat Gold, and then, as I said, the two that we had mixed on the um, previous painting where I had mixed these with uh, Gloss Medium. So we'll see how those play with the rest of these colors. And again, I do have my um, Deco Art Metallic Sterling Silver, but I don't want my blues to get faded out um, and overly selled. So I think I'm gonna leave that one out, but if I feel like I need it after we start um, working on the painting, then I may add it afterward. Okay, so put on my white, and we'll get busy on the other colors. So for anyone that's watching that is new to my channel, um, I have been painting for several years on YouTube now, and I paint all different types of paintings. I will do, um, I do paintings for the family when they ask me, hey mom, can you, can you paint this for one of the kids' rooms? Yes, I will do that. Um, I paint the Dutch pours, I do cup pours. I have done some uh, galaxy paintings where I use my Dutch pours, or my cup pours actually, my cup pours and then I add the planets and stars and things like that to them. Um, you can check out some videos on that. And I have also recently started oil painting, but I am very new to oil painting. It is definitely a different medium. And while I'm having some fun with it, it's very time consuming. So I haven't 
had the time that I really want to have to start um, showing some paintings on video. But I'm hoping that sometime in the future I'll be able to do that because I do really enjoy the oil painting. Okay. So we have our white on. And I forgot to grab paper towels. Um, here we go. So I'm going to set my spatula down. Okay. My memory card was full, so I had to clear it. All right, so now I'm just going to add some white now that this is settled down um, to the corners where I see that they're missing. And then I'm going to take some of this white and run it on the edges that are missing. these corners are covered well. This corner here. There we go. Okay, so we have our white on and we're going to let that continue to run down as we add our other colors. So, I'm going to start off and I'm going to layer these. I'm going to use the Prussian blue first. And I am going to stir this up a little bit just to make sure that it is stirred nicely. Now I was thinking about doing a split, but I kind of decided against it and decided that I was just going to do a Dutch pour with these. Um, to see how they would come out. So we're going to start down here. And again, this is the blue that's left over from our um, glossy painting. Okay, so there's the blue. Now I think I'm going to put the pewter on next since the pewter is rather blue toned anyway. that on. I love metallics. And then I'm going to put the copper straight on next. So I do like blue copper and pewter together as well. Then I'm going to do the ultramarine marine blue before I put on the um, 24 karat gold. And again I'm just going to get out a stick and stir this up a bit. I have just a little bit left in the container, so I might have enough to do some more painting with this. Alright, so here is the ultramarine blue. Beautiful blue. Yeah, I think there's enough to do one more painting with those. And the gold. 24 karat gold. This is a lot of paint for a tiny canvas, but that's okay. Um, I am going to skip the silver because this is fading out a bit already. Alright, let's torch everything. Get it ready to be blown out. Okay, now I see what appears to be Sure, I take those out now because when I start blowing this out, it could drag the paint. That was a bubble. Bubble. Okay, so now I see some more bubbles popping up, so we're going to torch again. Okay, the other thing that I have noticed. Let's see if we have enough to scrape up here. 
the missing right here. So a bit of paint missing there. And then this whole section right here is missing. And that's not enough. So we're going to pour some paint on because I don't want this dry section to affect the blowout. So I'm just going to pour on a little bit and let it drip down. There we go. Okay. So kind of looking at this going, this is kind of crazy looking already. So I want to let it sit for a minute, cover my paints back up again. I feel like this is going to come out really dark, but I'm hoping that this Prussian and this ultramarine blue will like pop. Oh, the gold is gorgeous. Okay, so I do see some more. I'm going to Torch again. There we go. I saw those pop right away. Okay, now we're ready to blow it out. And because the painting is small, I'm going to use the flower dryer tonight. The flower dryer has that nice small attachment to it versus the Revlon, which is I usually use for the bigger canvases. All right, let's blow this out and see what happens. Here we go. This is really pretty. Wow. There's a lot of paint on here, but I'm okay with that because it really covered up a lot of the canvas, which is nice. I didn't need that much white space. There's some cells happening in here. This is really pretty. Just the whole thing has just this beautiful shimmer of the gold on it. I'm gonna scrape this real quick. I'm scraping this now because I'm seeing that it's starting to slide down the canvas a lot. And I want to save some of this. The cells are really pretty. Wow, oh, a lot of gold on the table here. I'm going to put a little on this corner, this bare, kind of a little bare corner there. I'll have to come up there and check that corner out. This is white, so it's covered. We're missing a spot right here, so I'm just tapping some of the paint from the table onto that spot to encourage it to draw it down. And then it will um, correct itself. Let's scrape it again. There is some really pretty stuff on this table that I'm going to try to pick up in a cup because it's really nice. Let's see. Yeah, I have a cup here. Alright. Let's see if I can get some of this scraped up. And I'll show you what what color why I, why I'm incurred or wanting to scrape this up. Might not be a lot, but what's here is so pretty. I don't want it to go to waste. I can either mix it with, with um, another cup or, um, you know, use it as an accent on something, but I don't know if you can see. It's got a lot of the gold in it, so I didn't want to waste the gold. So I'm going to come up here and scrape that as well. But let me um, do that and then I will 
grab the camera while I'm over there and bring you down and show you this pretty painting. So I'll be right back. So here is our little painting for this evening with our two blues and our gold and our pewter and our copper. And I'm going to bring you down. Well, first I'm going to bring you up and show you the whole painting. I guess I really kind of like the fact that it's more painting or paint than it is white space on this one. I like the blues. I like the explosion of all the blue and um, all the metallics. So I'm going to bring you down so I can show you the shimmer that's happening with this gold. The entire painting just shimmers across with the gold and the copper and the pewter. And while the pewter isn't really shining right now, you can see kind of the, the pewter accents throughout here. Let's take you up again. And I've got some nice cells going on up here and some really interesting um, earthy planet stuff going on there. And then I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's really cool. Look at this. Kind of reminds me of like looking at mountains from above them. And then we've got this as X or um, outlined in three different colors here with lots of lots of cells going on. And then again, that section where the gold is just shimmering with the copper. And then it comes down to this corner, which I really like this corner too. I like how the, the, the design here, and then how it shimmers all through here. It's really pretty. So let me know what you think about this one. Um, I know there's, a lot of times um, you want so much white space and so on, but I really like that the colors were bold and kind of took over the canvas and said, hey, I'm here, you know, this is my canvas and I'm going to take over. I really like that. So, um, but let me know what you think about this painting. Do you like the color scheme with the um, blues and then the copper, the pewter, and the um, uh, 24 karat gold? I'll show it to you when it's dry. But for now, this is what it looks like wet, which is similar to what it will look like after it gets a high gloss coating. But let me know what you think about this one. And um, thank you again for joining me tonight. If you're not a subscriber, thank you for joining me tonight. And I hope you watch a few of more of my videos and maybe you'll become a subscriber. If anyone's interested in any of my paintings, you can reach me by um, emailing me at the email address at the end of every one of my videos. And until my next video in three days, please take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Bye.